Hi guys. It is almost a pleasant and breezy summer morning here where we have somehow rolled into uh where are we? Is it a Wednesday morning already? I am losing track of what day of the week it is. I think it is July 10th, 2024. Here <clears throat> at uh Bugs in a Jar Farm, where uh, I am starting day seven of my doom scrolling hiatus. <clears throat> so, uh, the last article I ever read on the mainstream media, which was last Thursday, when, when I finally just slammed shut my uh, computer. And, and just absolute anti-natalist doomer disgust and decided I, I just can't take it anymore <clears throat> was uh, this article and it wasn't just one several articles <clears throat> about this Netflix documentary uh, out there now I think it's <clears throat> I think the title of it, I don't have it call up in front of me, is the, I think it's the man who fathered 1,000 children or something uh, along those lines. You can find it on Netflix uh, about the, this clueless fucking moron. Well, I don't know. It, 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 is he a... Uh, or, or this really smart guy, I guess, depending on how you look at it. I'm not, even if I could pronounce his name, I, 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 I'm not going to uh, give this motherfucker any more uh, press than he, uh, than he already has. Uh, but... Uh, as I say, that, that was the last article I read, so somehow I survived watching, it, it's a three-part documentary, each uh, segment 40 minutes, so it's two hours, two hours where they document, you know, in their Netflix style, uh, this uh, completely out of control sperm donor uh, from the Netherlands uh, who no one will ever know. No one will ever know how many kids that, that, that this fucker uh, has fathered. He is claiming 600 by some other estimates. It could be as high as 3,000. We will never know uh, how many little uh, planet nibbling bundles of joy that, that this motherfucker uh, has uh, spread around the planet? And uh, trust me, he is—he's he, not going to stop. Uh, if anything, it would not surprise me that uh, he just got a—you know—a worldwide free commercial. For his sperm, and my guess is these clueless bitches are clamoring more than ever uh, to get their hands or their ovaries on this guy's cum. It 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 it, 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 it it's jaw dropping, <clears throat> and, and, and guys, you know what what can then some anti-natalist uh, doomer who got a vasectomy at age 22 before ever letting one little planet nibbling bundle of joy out of the bag add to just to the documentary uh, I mean no shit Sherlock uh, let, let, let me state straight from the get-go that I, I think they, this is a little bit of a spoiler alert, so I'll give you a few seconds to stop listening to this video because I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. So apparently what happened is the guy 
got, if he ever donates sperm again in his entire life, he will be fined 100,000 euros. Uh, but that, I guess this was a judge in Holland. Uh, it, it, you know, what a fucking joke. And then, and then I then I absolutely loved it. So what he did, now that if he, if, if he impregnates one more woman in the country of, of Holland, so all he had to do was to move to any other country on the, on the damn planet. Uh, so where do you think the guy moved to? Uh, he moved to Tanzania. One of the most overpopulated and and rapidly overpopulating countries on the planet. The the guy moves to Tanzania and is claiming he has made his new home in Tanzania because the Netherlands was overpopulated. There there were too many people in the Netherlands, says the man. Uh, who added more, uh, the man who has single-handedly or single-dickedly uh, put more Dutch citizens on the planet than any human in history has fled the Netherlands because it's too overpopulated for his taste to move to Tanzania. So, so anyway, guys... Uh, obviously, the, 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 this hundred thousand dollar, I mean hundred thousand euro per uh, donation fine is an absolute fucking joke. It's going to do nothing to stop the man uh, on, on any level. And my guess is there's a shitload of guys who are going to copycat the guy. I mean, there already are uh, g guys. There's plenty of guys out there. Make no mistake about this. He might be the king uh, of the heap, but there, 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 there's, there's plenty of men who have uh, impregnated hundreds, if not thousands, of women. So, you know, no, no, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, in, 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 this fine is a joke. <clears throat> this motherfucker needs to have his, certainly his balls cut off. Uh, I would say his balls and his dick. Uh, the, the, the motherfucker needs to be strapped down to a gurney and, uh, and, 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 and his balls and his dick need to go. Uh, they have done enough damage to this planet to last a lifetime. <clears throat> but he's doing... Uh, absolutely nothing illegal uh, anywhere outside the country of Holland. Uh, as they, you know, pointed out in the closing credits, uh, that, uh, you know, this is a $5 billion industry now. A $5 billion industry. Uh, this sperm donor uh, I industry. Uh, all over the planet, every country on the planet. Uh, this sperm donation uh, has has moved in, but 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 of course, uh, it, you better believe that nowhere in, in in the two hours, well, maybe about thirty seconds out of out of two hours, they did give, uh, you know, kind of the other side of this story, and, 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 and make no mistake about it, uh, the sperm donation uh, industry needs to die, okay? It needs to go, uh, but, you know, to, to, to put 100% of the blame on the men doing this, uh, you know, talk about an easy job, uh, you know, jerking off uh, in, 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 into some little uh, cup uh, or, or, 
like, like this guy, there, there's plenty of these women who just said, come over here and fuck me and knock me up. <clears throat> plenty of women. Uh, they interview some of them uh, the, where the women didn't even need to deal with the sperm bank. He offers, I'll come over there and do it. We'll do it the natural way. And, 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 and plenty of women took him up on it. Now, this is just an aside for anyone who had watched it. Or, am I the only one who was struck by how ugly these women were? The, 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 these fat, ugly uh, women. I mean, how did the guy ever get it up? Uh, for for any of these women, uh, it, 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 just thinking about uh, the, these fat, ugly bitches that uh, that they interviewed, uh, I, I I don't even know how a guy could jerk off uh, thinking about impregnating one of these fat, ugly women. But anyway, that that's neither here nor there. I'm assuming some of these women. Uh, were uh, were a little better looking than these pigs that they they interviewed, but guys, uh, you know it takes two to tango or two thousand to tango. You know, it, it, if this guy gets put out of business, there's still uh, going to be thousands, millions uh, uh, of women. Uh, lining up uh, to get pregnant. It's, it, it's a lot of, uh, it, it obviously, it's a lot of lesbian couples. Uh, it's lesbian couples, or uh, I, I'm assuming it's just single women w w with no man in their lives at all. Uh, and then it's like like this one couple, and I'm sure this is a lot that one, one of the main, about the only man that's interviewed in here is, is this dude. Uh, here we go again. Uh, the dude gets a vasectomy when he's younger. He he understands uh, that the you know the. Uh, biggest crime you can commit on this planet it, it is to be a breeder. So he he does the only responsible thing to do. He gets a vasectomy, uh, and, and then he meets a woman, uh, and, and uh, she says, "If you want me, we're just gonna, you know I only." Uh, come if I if you can give me a kid, and, and she's a fat ugly bitch. Uh, I, I don't know why this dude, uh, who's not the best looking guy himself, didn't tell this fat ugly bitch to go fuck herself. So you, I, I'm sure you see this over and over again, where, where men uh, do the only right thing, which is to get a vasectomy. And they hook up with some clueless, controlling bitch uh, who says, uh, uh, if you're with me, I'm getting pregnant. Okay? Deal with it. And so uh, there's no telling how many people uh, are like this. And, 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 and you know, so it, 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 it takes two or two thousand or two million uh, however many women have availed themselves of these sperm banks to tango. Uh, get, get, you know, getting rid of this guy uh, out of the sperm bank is, is, is much as, number one, it ain't going to happen, and as much as I support it, it's not going to do a goddamn thing uh, to, to fix the problem and the problem is that this industry exists. And you don't even need to go in to uh, all of these women, all, all, all of these uh, dykes, all of these, uh, in, all of these clueless bitches <clears throat> can adopt. We, 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 I, I don't even need to go down that road. Uh, that uh, uh, every one of these selfish self-important bitches, and that's what this is, as Don Juan will clearly tell you. It's the most narcissistic, self-important, 
uh, thing to do is to be a fucking breeder. Uh, they can adopt. There, there, there's millions uh, of uh, 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 of children all over this planet uh, that they could provide a uh, a, a good home for. Uh, don't even get me uh, into that ramp. But no, it's not good enough for them. They want th these little carbon copies of themselves, you know, and, and, and talking about uh, how these bitches get on there, uh, you know, that he's knocked up and, 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 and calling out this guy uh, for being a narcissist and, and having, what is it, a, a god complex uh, or whatever it is. Look at yourself in the mirror, bitch. You know, you might not be able to, to pump out 600 to 3,000 uh, uh, of these little fuckers uh, 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 out of your pussy, but, but you're still a, a, a goddamn narcissist with a god complex. Any fucking breeder is a self-important narcissist with a fucking god complex. Uh, th that's exactly what these goddamn breeders are. I don't care if you have one or three thousand of them. You're, you're all fucking guilty. You fucking uh, self-important, clueless fucking morons. You make me want to puke. It's the reason this planet is fucked. So anyway, uh, that, that's pretty much my review uh, of that documentary. But it did remind me of a, uh, uh, of a story which I don't think I've ever told because I honestly don't know. Well, I guess it's been uh, 20 years now. Uh, I, I honestly don't know if what I did several times is would, would be considered uh, some sort of crime. <clears throat> so uh, I, 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 I've mentioned before that uh, for five years <clears throat> uh, I was a piss hauler for the world's biggest drug testing company. For five years that was uh, uh, that, that was my job. Uh, Great job being a piss hauler for the world's biggest drug testing company, and then of course going home and, and getting stoned out of my head every night, then getting up in the morning to uh, go to work for the world's biggest drug testing company. Uh, but it's not only piss that I hauled. I'm guessing uh, maybe. I don't know, guys, between five and ten times, instead of hauling piss, what I was hauling was semen. Where the, 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 the guy would come in <clears throat> to uh, the lab where I worked, and I don't need to name the name of the company. Uh, he would come into the lab uh, I worked in and had two choices. Either he could go in to this private room by himself or he could take his girlfriend uh, or wife in there with him, whoever it was. Uh, now, we, we were not a sperm bank. It, you know, we, and it, it was just a very small sideline business, but uh, we were somehow affiliated so the e either the the man himself or the couple could arrive go in to this room uh, while I sat around waiting outside <clears throat> so my job was as soon as the guy came out I, I took this little plastic cup of his cum I, it, it was literally, I had a little plastic screw-on thing uh, uh, 
with his cum in it. And then I had to get the sample without it getting cool to some other era. It is, and, and I was the one who was, and, and I never understood, okay, why the fuck did the guy or the couple even come in to our lab and then give me the sample to run across town? I mean, I wasn't even leaving town. You see what I'm saying? I, I was just rushing the sample. Why the fuck didn't they just go to, to where I was taking the dudes come? I, 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 I never figured this out. Uh, but it was my job to transport the semen. I, I think, as I recall, it could not get below 94 degrees. I guess if it went below 94 degrees that uh, it, it, it was basically fucked. And what I did was, as I was driving, I literally kept this vial of cum between my legs. You know, I mean, wearing pants, of course. I would be sitting in the car with th th this man's cum uh, nestled, you know, right up uh, against my own uh, m my own testicles, which, of course, it, are shooting blanks. I like the irony that uh, literally nestled up against my testicles what was another man's cum. Well, you know exactly what I did, guys. Uh, e e every time I took the... Uh, I, uh, I, I took the, uh, the sample it is obviously, uh, what do you, what do you think I would do? What, what do you think I would do? I, I would, uh, hold the fucking sample in front of the fucking AC on the car. <clears throat> you know, I would go around the block, I would get it nice and chilled, probably, I, I would, you know, I would, like, figure... Like, uh, okay, I'm thinking it's probably down below 90 degrees. And uh, then I would, uh, you know, change it. I would let it sit there. And, and, and then uh, before I delivered it, I would, uh, I, I would, you know, turn on the heater instead of the AC and, uh, and get it nice and warm. Uh, before I delivered it to the lab, I, I never heard back. I never did a follow-up to find out what happened to those samples, uh, that they gave me. Uh, but anyway, I, you know, if, uh, I managed to, uh, keep these, these fucking couples, these clueless fucking moron couples from breeding, you know, they just went and did it again. And, uh, there, there, there's no way out of it. But I did what I could do to, uh, make my statement about the goddamn, uh, sperm bank industry. Anyway... So, uh, if you dare, if you dare, uh, I do recommend, uh, um, the man who fathered 1,000 children or something similar to that on Netflix, uh, and, and it, have any lingering doubt that uh, why we're so fucked on this planet, there it is, in your face. And I gotta wrap this up because uh, I have a cinnamon raisin bagel with my name on it. Bye, guys. Bring on the hurricane.